The son of a woman who was shot dead with her partner inside a bus in Nueva Ecija might have a motive to have the couple killed, the Philippine National Police, PNP, said on Thursday. Initial investigation disclosed that woman had filed carjacking complaints against her son, who denied any involvement in the bus shooting, the PNP said. Bago na nanjari itong incident na ito, ay merong ali tan itong biktima sa kanyang anak na kanasahan naya ito, at in fact, na kablader ito, at on bail lamang itong kanyang anak, PNP spokesperson Colonel Jean Fajardo said. ISA pa ito sa tinatingnan, pa natin na posable, na maring, may motibo pa, Fajardo added. On Wednesday, the 60-year-old woman and her 55-year-old live-in partner were shot six times point-blank by two unidentified men while riding a bus in Barangay Minulay in Karanglan town. Fajardo said the victims boarded the bus at a terminal in Kauaian, Isabella, while the suspects went on board in Bayambang, Nueva Vizcaya. The incident was captured by a dash cam and was uploaded on social media. Fajardo said the female victim reportedly received a death threat prior to the killing. On the part of the Nueva Ecija police, I knock this up na rin nila young capited mismoing victima at may nakuha siling information na sanasabi na allegedly na may nasabi ang victima na may possible threat against her life, Fajardo said. Fajardo said the PNP was backtracking CCTVs to identify the gunman. She added that the PNP was planning to reinstate its bus marshals following the incident. Investigators are also looking into possible lapses of the bus company as the gun ban is still in effect until November 29, Fajardo said. LTFRB Probe The Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, LTFRB, said it would conduct a separate investigation into the brazen killing. For the part of LTFRB, we are conducting also our own separate investigation, Highwale Pa S.A. Investigacion, Pa Ng PNP, LTFRB Chairman Tiafilo Guadais said. Guadais said the probe would determine, among others, if there were security and safety lapses on the part of the bus operator. Posable Pasigurong Pagpaliwanagen, Namin Sila, and possible administrative sanctions imposed upon them Pag, Mahindi Pasila Natapad, he said. LTFRB Technical Division Chief Joel Bolano added, they are required to have a security plan for the bus operator. Kayame Investigation SI LTFRB to determine Kung Maron Pong violations DUN SA security plan ing operator. The LTFRB said it would issue a show cause order for the bus company to explain 